Before we get today's video started, I just want to say that the Batman Edition 3F shirt is now available for pre-orders. So, if you guys want to support me and the 3F boys, go cop one. Um, we don't have them on our website yet, but you guys can just slide through the DMs and we'll get you in one through there. I mean, it doesn't get easier than the DMs, you know, just slide through that bitch and we'll get you guys settled. Then if you guys are curious to see how it looks, you gotta admit that design looks pretty fucking dope if you ask me. And speaking of supporting, um, shout out to the homie Monty, Uncle Monty. He started his own brand right there. Ooh, look at that chest though. Anyways, Breach Lifestyle is his new brand. So if you guys wanna go support him and give him a follow on Instagram, um, he's under Breach Lifestyle. And even better than that, if you guys give him a follow and send in some nudes, you get a free shirt. So hey, you support the homie, you give him a follow, you give him a nude, and he gives you a shirt? Kind of like a win-win thing, no? But anyways, I guess with that being said, let's get today's video started. I still don't have my camera back. So, we're back on the phone. But, that's not what's important here. What's important is, look at that. Your boy got some authentic Sea West shit. So, oh, and I picked up this, um, used as bumper me and batman me and senor rata actually picked this shit up yesterday but it's a little fucked up it's a little on the janks you know we got this shit right here which i don't know what it is i was gonna say it looks like a sticker but i don't know i think it is like a crusty ass janked up sticker but anyways other than the way it looks um it's actually in pretty good condition like what's important is that the tabs are there. So you got all those tabs right there. Ooh, easy there, janky bumps. We got this tabs right here. So that's what's important. Um, everything else, it'll get cleaned up with paint and bodywork. And then this was our old bumper, which we're no longer gonna use. And this one has that molded. I'm gonna guess it's a Wings West, somebody said lip some shit like that but anyways yeah so this bumper didn't work for us because of this and what's in that box you guys are gonna see why this bumper wasn't gonna work for us so with that being said we picked up that bumper yesterday but let's get to an unboxing okay so i got this like pretty janky setup to hold the fucking camera but i think it should work i can't really see what you guys are seeing because i'm in the phone but anyway it does little unboxing. Well, I'm not really unboxing because I've already opened this shit. We got video. Interrupting the production right now. So anyways. Yeah, it's not really an unboxing because I already know what it is and I've already kind of opened it. Actually, me and Senor Bata have already opened it. But, anyways, that's not the purpose of this shit. You guys haven't seen it. So, right here, we have a... This is what you call... Actually, let me get all this shit out and then we'll show you guys. So now that we got all that Japanese bubble wrap out, here it is. So let's pull these bad boys from here so you guys can get a better look. And there's no tripod shit sucks, bruh. Monty, give back my camera, brother. Can't be doing this shit. These poor man productions over here. And let me get this shit out. So there it is. I don't need to open that one because obviously that is gonna be the same thing as this shit, but yeah. So this is what we got going on. I guess we could put this one away. Like I said, that one's gonna be the same thing as this, and yeah. But anyways, so we got some Sea West side skirts and a Sea West, this is what they call a rear half spoiler. Tell me why spoiler, or ask me why a spoiler, I don't know. Um, I would consider this a lip. I'm pretty sure most of the people would consider that a lip, because to me a spoiler is like a wing. But anyways, that's not the point. 
The point is that this is a C-West rear half spoiler and um, yeah, it obviously goes attached to the bumper and you do need an OEM bumper and it does have to be like, I think this came out of a 94, but on their website, it says for a 97 spec, but 94 to 97 is the same bumper. So that's what you need. A 98 to 2001 won't work. But anyways, yeah, so if you guys are curious to see if these are authentic Sea West, there is your badge, buddy. Actually, it's not even a badge, it's like a sticker. That's pretty fucked up. A badge would have been better. PFRP. What does that mean? Pure fiber raw piece? I don't know. But yeah. So and then I don't know what that is. And then on this one, oh yeah, this one has a two right there. C West, PFRP again. So I don't know what PFRP means, but I'm just gonna go ahead and assume it's fiberglass because this looks like fiberglass. But let's throw on this lip on that bumper and see how it looks. Hey, I think that's in actually. Oh, what the heck was that? Actually, yeah, that's in. Just hugs right there. And that's what happens when you get quality parts from Japan. They just go in pretty smooth. So, actually, my bad, it's not in all the way. My bad on that. Okay, now it's in, I think. Yeah. So, there it is. The Sea West has spoiler on the rear bumper. So that's pretty much how the booty's looking. Angle, bam. I wonder how this would look if I was to mold it. What do you guys think? Drop a comment down below. Let me know what, what you guys think. If I was to mold this into the bumper, how it would look. Cause this one over here is molded to the bumper. As you guys could see, there's no, there's no line. Hmm, I wonder how it would look. Leave a comment below. I'm curious to know how many people would think it would look good. I want to say I think it would look good, but I don't know if it would deform the shape. So it has like that pretty heavy lip right here, like right there. I mean, but I'm pretty sure a body shop guy would know how to like blend it in. But anyways, yeah, if you guys think it would look good, let me know. I'm curious. See how many people out there think that it would. But even more curiosity than that, I'm curious to see how it looks on the car. And I'm pretty sure all you guys are wanting, trying to see how it looks on the car. So. Again, it's hard to be recording with the damn fucking phone and no tripod and mounting this. So, I'm just gonna throw this on the car. Actually, I gotta look for some bolts first. I don't think I have any hardware to hold this shit up. So, luckily me, I have a table full of junk shit here. Well, this is very ghetto, very janks, but you guys get the point on how it's gonna look. I have a little hammer there holding it up on this side, and then I got a an office chair holding it on this side. Obviously the bumper is a little twickles. It's a little twacks and it's not mounted perfect, but that's pretty much how it's gonna look, boys. What do you guys think? Again, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys think of how it's looking. What do you guys think if I should leave it this color? Like primer, not even primer. Raw metal, red, and black? Shit. I wish it was mounted better so I could get that chair and that hammer out the way and get some good picks, but I guess this will have to do for now. That looks pretty damn dope. Ghetto Productions back at it again with another banger. So I ended up using that cardboard tape just to hold it up in place. I mean, it's not, I don't even know how these shits go mounted, man, to be honest. Um, I don't think it's supposed to come out that far back. And I don't know how they go mounted over there. But, I mean, the purpose of today's video was to get an idea on how it looks. And, well, there it is. I mean, if I was to mount this fender up front, you guys would get an even better idea, actually. So, let's just, actually, can't even put this fender on because now we got the Ghetto Production side skirts on. Yeah, so those go in the way. Let me see what I can do here. 
I mean, again, fender's not supposed to be mounted like that, but it looks pretty cool from like a distance. Boy, is that a Type R DC2? Nah, homie, it's just a US model. Pretty sick though. What do you guys think? Blow up the goddamn comment section, let me know. I swear, if this video does not get more than like five comments, I'll be pretty on the upset side. It's a five comment video, easy bro, like. Yes, molded, no molded. Side skirts look bomb, side skirts are mounted wrong. That tape though, that rear bumper though, that hack ass fucking fender though. 37 comments right there guys though. I mean, I'm giving you guys the answers here, so. Yeah, don't be like that. Give this video a big thumbs up and uh, drop a comment below. I'm about to snap some photos for the gram. Also, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you guys do because I'm about to fucking post that photo up there. So, Instagrammer, see it first. Booty looking nice. Them thighs, girl. Woo. Yeah. And then the janky ass fender. I still gotta sandblast this shit. Cause I think that and the doors are the only thing that have paint now. Woo. We got the bumper too, but I can't mount that because I don't even know how to mount it. It has like a whole assembly line for it. We got the new hood, which will soon will open. And then we got that bumper filler over there. Oh, you guys can't see the motor. I guess with that being said, we're done. So quick little video, but a cool one. And show the pop of the day. Um, I know we're not doing orange monsties lately, but um, that's cause the homie pirate hooked it up with a few cases of that low carb one, which is the zero carb. And this shit's pretty banging. So with that being said, we're out. Peace.